Hi everyone, my name is Bethany Allen. I am a pastor at Bridgetown Church in the heart of Portland, Oregon. And your verse of the day comes from Psalm 139, verses 13 and 14. It says this, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Now, this verse for many is a familiar one, and for good reason. In this scripture, we find that there is a God who has a designed plan for each one of us. With all of our complexities and intricacies, God has designed us uniquely. He knit us together. He wove us together because he's intentional about our design, about who he's called and created us to be, which means that there is no part of us that is a mistake or a mishap or a blemish. And that sets the tone for where David, our author, takes the text next. David bursts into this expression of praise. He says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Now, fearfully and wonderfully are not words that we often use when describing ourselves, but here in the text, it has a really robust meaning. Fearfully means to be in awe of or to bring reverence to, and wonderfully means to be distinguished by or to be distinct or set apart. And that sets the framework for everything that David is going after. In this verse, he is saying to us that we are a people who are set apart, who are created and designed to inspire awe, not just in one another, but in the world. And this is David's means for worshiping and praising God. Now, there's a lot of invitations we could take from this, but most importantly, the invitation is that you take this truth, not as something that someone in Portland is saying to you today, but you take it as a truth that God has spoken over you, that you are distinct that you were created to inspire awe in the world and in one another, and to allow that reality to shape how you show up, not just today, but in the days ahead.